Hi everyone, my name is Laurent Kubeski. I'm the product manager for Fast Connect, and today I'm going to walk you through all the new Summer 15 features. Let's start with number one, which is our Google Drive integration. So from the setup tree, if you create a new external data source, you will see a new Fast Connect Google Drive option. That's what you need to select if you want to connect Salesforce to Google Drive. And once your Google Drive external data source is configured, your users will be able to click on the Files tab and click on Google Drive and access all their Google Drive documents. My Drive, Share With Me, Recent, and Starred. This is also available from the Chatter tab under Files. And as you know, you can go to any Salesforce object, for example, an opportunity, and from the opportunity feed, you can click on select a file from Salesforce and from there click on Google Drive. Select any file that you want to share with the opportunity and then uh, click on attach. And a file reference is created behind the hood and you have this Google Drive icon that tells you that the file is coming from Google Drive. That's our Google Drive integration. Next, we have scoped search. But first, let's talk about the global search. So if you search from the Salesforce global search bar, you will search across all the connected external data sources. So if I click on search, I can now search across Google Drive, SharePoint Online, and OneDrive. But what if you only want to search in Google Drive? That's what scoped search is. So I am browsing Google Drive and that's the scoped search uh, dialogue. So while browsing Google Drive, I can immediately search for any file that I want. So the main use case is, again, let's say that I want to share a Google Drive document with an opportunity. So I go to my opportunity feed and I choose select a file from Salesforce. Then I click on Google Drive and then I can immediately search from there and quickly share my document. That's scoped search. Next one, Salesforce One integration. So end of May, beginning of June, the Salesforce One version 7.3 will be available on the App Store. And on this version of Salesforce One, you have the Files Connect integration. So it will look like this, that's Salesforce One. If I tap on Files and I expand the recent node, I have access to all my local Salesforce files, but also I have access to my Files Connect external data sources. So if I uh, click on SharePoint Online, I can now browse SharePoint Online in real time, even on the go. And once I click on the file, a file reference is going to be created in uh, Salesforce. And then I can share this file reference with users, groups, and records. Also, we have this great Office app integration thanks to our partnership with Microsoft. So here you can see the Word icon, and if I click there, the Word app is going to open, and the Word app is going to download the document from SharePoint Online, and then I'll be able to edit this document directly from the Word app on my tablet. Okay, so I click on edit. And now I can edit my file on the go. And then when I hit save, 
the Word app is going to upload the updated document back in SharePoint Online. And then if I go back to Salesforce One, I will be able to uh, preview my updated document. Because if you remember, a file reference always points to the latest document version in SharePoint and now also in uh, Google Drive. Next one, profile-based XDS visibility. This means being able to decide which users can see which external data sources. So in this case, my user is allowed to access Google Drive, OneDrive and SharePoint Online. But let's say that I only want him to access Google Drive. Well, today in the summer release, that's possible. On this org, I'm using permission sets to uh, grant access to Files Connect. So I have a Files Connect cloud permission set. And if I go to the external data source access section, that's where I can con configure which external data sources users are allowed to access. So in this case, well, my user can access everything, but if I remove OneDrive and SharePoint Online so that only Google Drive is enabled, and if I click on Save, I go back to the Files tab, I refresh, and now only Google Drive is available. Let's go back to my permission set. I click on Edit. I'm going to re-enable everything. I hit save, I refresh, and from the Files tab, I can access everything. So again, this feature allows you to decide which, user, which users can access which external data sources. Five, search layouts. Let's do a global search again. I'm going to search for specifications. So before summer 15, you are not able to customize the way search results, global search results were displayed because this was hard coded. So name, owner, and last modified was hard coded. When you were not able to uh, change the order of, of these columns or to add or remove columns. Well, now you can. To do this, go to the files connect node in the setup tree and enable this option, which is called Use External Object Search Layout. Now, still on the setup tree, let's go on the external object, for example, the Google Drive external object, and I'm going to customize the search layout. So that's my default search layout. So let's remove this field and let's add, for example, the creation date. Let's add the MIME type. Let's add the update date. And I'm going to move the update date up. up. So we have name, creation date, update date, MIME type. And now I hit save. And let's do a search again. And now my search layout is applied. So I have the name, the creation date, the date date, and the MIME type. So you can customize the displayed fields and also the field order. Last but not least, custom fields. So let's use SharePoint Online as an example. So on my SharePoint Online instance, my document have a custom column called color, which can be white, red, or blue. Uh, today you can search on this custom column from Salesforce. So to do this, let's go to my SharePoint Online external object. It's there. So I manually created a custom field, which I called color. And now my custom field can be queried using circle on this external object. So you can, you, you can now 
have this field appear in global search results. You can just need to customize the search layout to add this field. And you can also build custom uh, integrations. Let me show this. For example, on this account, I created on this Acme account, I created a custom field that I called color. So my accounts have a custom field called color. And if you remember in SharePoint Online, I also have a custom column called color. So the idea is to display all the SharePoint Online documents that have the same color as the uh, account. So if I scroll down, that's what I did here. Let's switch the account color from white to red. And when I hit save, I'm querying SharePoint in real time. And voila, I now have the list of all the SharePoint Online documents that are red. So that's a custom integration. Let's quickly have a look at the code that I wrote to do this. So I wrote a uh, account controller extension. So it looks like this. So the interesting part is this query. Basically, I'm querying the external object and I'm asking for all the SharePoint Online documents that have the same color as the account color. So that's the kind of custom integrations you can build using Files Connect. And the nice thing is that to build this custom integration, you don't need Chatter enabled on your org. You don't need to create file references. This will work even if you don't have Chatter en enabled on uh, your custom object. So here we go. Let's recap. Number one, Google Drive. Number two, scoped search. Number three, Salesforce One integration coming end of May, beginning of June. Number four, profile-based XDS visibility. Number five, search layouts are now applied. And number six, you can now add custom fields on your Files Connect external objects. Thanks a lot.